Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of late summer planting and I know I just said I wouldn't do it, but I'm actually gonna be working on my back hillside garden. So this area has been really challenging. I think it's because the soil quality is just so poor. Anything I try to plant is either stunted and kind of grows at a snail's pace or ends up withering away and dying. What I'm planning to do is just start working on this hillside area by area and take it chunk by chunk. Um, that way I can work on improving the soil, bringing in fresh soil, compost if needed, and then incorporate some really tough, sun-loving perennials that are heat tolerant, drought tolerant, and don't mind poor soil conditions. So here's our hillside. And if you remember when I started planting these hardy geranium and lamb's ear, I kind of had a plan. Uh, once I realized that the soil was an issue, I just kind of abandoned the plans altogether. And that's why we have kind of this really random haphazard look like nothing's balanced and I'm not saying it has to be balanced but it's just not quite the layout um, I wanted so this is the area I'm going to work on today um, we do have this whole hillside though so if you really look up there you can see those arborvitaes I've talked about them a million times um, they've been struggling since we've moved in it could be the soil condition and i've also shared the soil i kind of have some theories either it's just really really bad soil or the soil was treated with some sort of sterilant and the reason i thought that could be it is because there are absolutely no weeds up above our property up there that's a railroad track up above it doesn't work anymore but there's no weeds no weeds down here, no weeds anywhere. So basically nothing except for these really nice shrubs and trees grow. So I'm wondering if that's why these arborvitaes have always struggled. When we bought our house, we had these smaller ones. It looks like they were put in to replace some uh, former arborvitae that had struggled. You can see <laughs> this one is doing just fine. So I'm assuming that when this one was planted, there was a whole hedge planted and most of those died off. And for whatever reason, this one did not. Eventually, we're going to be taking out these arborvitae here, probably all of them up here, uh, but especially these ones. These are the ones that are really, um, <laughs> you know, kind of weathered and look a little far gone. Um, I'm tossing around the idea of putting in a little mini hedge of black lace elderberry. The reason I love that choice is just because they grow so quickly and it would bring in a nice dark color, kind of similar to our pretty maple tree right here, those dark leaves. Even our grass here, you can tell our grass has really been struggling. Just in this area, could be the reflection of this edging, which I'm not really a fan of, but in other spots, we had a trampoline here, so that's why this is struggling. We're gonna reseed here this fall. But you can see our grass in other places, and it doesn't have that same issue that we have right back by that hillside. So the hillside gets full sun for most of the day. So any perennials I plant need to be pretty tough and able to handle the heat, except for you can see this burning bush here makes a nice little shady spot. So they get a little relief here. Okay, as for plants that I'm putting in today, I found five of these Proven Winners Rock and Grow Lemon Jade Sedum. Uh, sedum are excellent for full sun conditions. They don't even need a whole lot of water. And it even says on here, um, let's see, performs best in full sun and poor to average well-drained soil. I love that. That's what we're dealing with. So <laughs> that was good to hear. Um, and then back behind those, and you can already see, I love this chartreuse color, very refreshing. You can already see the chartreuse with the purple of our little spire Russian sage. So this is a more compact type of Russian sage. It gets about two feet high by two feet wide. Some Russian sage get really huge and can end up looking a little unkept. Um, and I think I like the sound of this size. And that way I can kind of layer these just like this. I think that'll look really nice. 
I shared last spring when I was planting my geranium in lamb's ear how I really got inspiration for this hillside by a woman. It was a Garden Gate Magazine YouTube video. I'll link it below, but it was a beautiful hillside garden, very cool, serene colors. So I'm really going for the chartreuse purple whites all of those really pretty kind of calm colors back here, especially because it gets so hot. I just want something to kind of visually cool it down. So when I was at Lowe's looking for plants, I kept trying to find a low growing kind of white ground cover or perennial, but I thought, you know, once I get these placed, I think what I'll do is just save room around the border close to the edge of the garden bed and leave space for some white super tunias and just do a nice little hedge of that next summer. This is the area I'm focusing on today. So the plan is, first and foremost, I think I need to dig up most of these plants and just have a blank slate, come in with some new soil, and just start placing things in a better layout. Even this guy here who's been here since we moved in, I kind of just forgot about it. I think I'll move him too and just give it kind of a whole new look, a little more balance, a little bit more of a plan. Okay, we are to a blank slate state. I just ended up digging up everything. I even transplanted um, an ornamental grass that was over kind of growing in this creeping uh, juniper here. You can still see some little uh, ends of it sticking out that I need to get rid of. I have another grass here. I need to divide the dead out. There is still some life in there, but this hasn't been divided in a long time and it was heading in a bad direction so I thought I'd try to save it um, and then I moved that one so I just made kind of a pile of all of my transplants right over here um, just kind of out of the way and I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting in some fresh soil we do have some drip tubing that I need to watch out for um, but I'm just gonna get started Okay, I think I have the layout just about there. Pardon the shadow. We have our umbrella <laughs> creating a little bit of shade. So I ended up moving one of the grasses. This one was right over there by the blue spruce. I set it here for now. I guess I should start with this side. I did move the salvia that was right here. Just popped it right over. I think I'm gonna put this lamb's ear 
right kind of next to it. And remember those get real big um, if they're happy. And then over here, I did the Russian sage, four of them, right as our kind of backdrop. And remember those only get about two by two, so nothing too big here. It'll stay pretty compact. And then I kind of staggered the sedum um, so I didn't want like a super straight line, like a line, line, line. I wanted it to look a little more natural. So I sort of staggered those for now. And then I popped in our lamb's ear that we dug up from this space, put one here. You can see uh, shadow makes it a little hard, but one of our hardy geranium with these purple blooms um, is here. And then another one here. So it kind of mirrors. We have our lovely sprinkler box. I need to come up with a decorative way to kind of hide that. Okay, and then this side, um, just kind of the same thing. The sedum continue, we have a lamb's ear, and then I actually found another of the ornamental grasses that was kind of just up on the hillside, forgotten, and I popped it in here. I'm gonna smoosh it together. I kind of tore away a lot of the dead, um, and I'm just gonna see if I can get that kind of livened up a little bit. Okay, and kind of hard to see, but back here, I transplanted a few limelight hydrangeas that I had up on my hillside, um, kind of out of sight, out of mind, and I popped them here. One of them died already, so I've been kind of just living in fear, and so I figure since I'm already nervous, I might as well just try transplanting them. They will outgrow the space, especially with two, so it's kind of just a temporary for now, just to kind of introduce more of that chartreuse which once we get the hillside uh, mulched and planted up, those will really pop a lot better, hopefully. Not the best backdrop up there, but we're working on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop all the plants into the ground, give them a good watering, and then I think I'll come back tonight when the lighting's a little better and just give you a look at how everything turned out. area finished. I did a little mulch just as a top dress just to give it a little more of a polished look. Got everything watered in and I'm really happy with how it turns out. I'm just crossing my fingers that all of these plants survive the hillside. <laughs> Wish me luck. So I'll go ahead and give you a look. 
All right, let's approach at an angle, shall we? I like seeing already the different kind of layers. We have our lower layer, we have our next tier, and then the next, and it just kind of stair steps its way up. And as things grow in, it's just going to get better and better. So we have our ornamental grass that I transplanted. I'm hoping it does okay. Usually these guys are pretty tough. Um, we also transplanted this lamb's ear, this one, as well as that one over there. We have another ornamental grass over there. So a little bit of mirroring. Um, I don't, it doesn't need to be exactly symmetrical, but I did want to kind of have a little bit of balance. And then we have our little wave of the lemon jade sedum and then our little russian sage in the background i was a little worried the russian sage would kind of blend into the blue of um, the blue spruce but i think once they get bigger and kind of get a little bit messier and start kind of you know breaking out as russian sages do the purple will hopefully get a little more deep and i could always plant some annuals just to kind of help set it off. All right, and then in the back, I actually transplanted this uh, feather reed grass back here um, from over down the hillside. Hopefully that does okay, it's up there. I didn't really put any new soil up there, but again, usually those grasses are pretty tough. The ones I'm really concerned about are my um, uh, limelight hydrangeas. These are in their second year. They were really struggling over where I had them. Again, on the hillside, same soil. And I just figured, you know, I'm gonna go for it. I think they'll fill in nicely here. They do grow in kind of a V shape. Um, so they'll fill in this gap. If they thrive, which would be wonderful, I may end up having to transplant them um, or maybe just remove one and kind of center the other one. So we'll see how those do. The other one I'm worried about is these poor hardy geraniums. This one and this one. These guys have just been struggling all season. I've moved them a couple times just trying to kind of add fresh soil around their roots and they're okay. I think I'm gonna give them another year, see how they turn out next spring when they come back and just hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they'll get refreshed over the winter. Again, I just love looking at the hillside in pockets like this. I think it's really helping not to think of it as an entire hillside that I have to conquer, but just little pockets at a time. It's kind of like creating little rooms out of our hillside. So when it comes to plants, I don't like to um, live in fear of them. And I found myself just really worried about the limelight hydrangeas and the hardy geranium. And so I know summertime isn't the best time at all to transplant something um, but these are plants that i feel like i did everything right i really researched i take good care of them um, and i just felt myself <laughs> living in fear are they okay is today the day they die you know oh we have another heat wave are they gonna make it and so i get to a point where i get fed up and i just kind of want to get it over with so i think that's kind of what i did with this project is listen if you're gonna if you're gonna buckle then I'm going to give you a reason. <laughs> Maybe that's a little harsh. I don't know. But anyway, I don't like to live in fear. If they don't make it, it's okay. They might not be the plant for me. We might not be compatible. I think the sedum are going to do well. I think the Russian sage are going to do really well. Um, lamb's ear, I think, will bounce back and the ornamental grasses. Um, so hopefully, hopefully the limelights and... Um, the hardy geranium will do well also, but we'll see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please wish me luck on my hillside experiment here and just improving it. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you next time. Bye.